Hello everybody, welcome to this evening's episode. It's going to be a pretty short one here, it's going for a uh, quarter to 1 a.m. actually. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on what has happened in today. And this is what's happened to the Thongcraft room. <laughs> I was originally going to build a little bit of a Thongcraft work area up here, but it ended up being a bee place. So uh, just replaced the, uh, the stone steps with wood, since you know bees are a little bit more outdoorsy and such. And built a little, uh, it's actually an eight sided, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, so eight sided room. And this is just uh, storage for some of the bees and such right now. Nothing uh, tr too official. And just uh, some leftover construction y stuff. I need those. I'm glad I found those. Okay. Um, so I know I have issues with the microphone, it's been picking up a lot of background noise and stuff like that, and I am working on resolving the issue. Uh, I got some mic stands and such that I'm looking into so I can get it off my desk. Apparently there's quite a few, uh, probably like that little tapping there, you probably heard that. Um, so I, I'm trying to resolve those issues, and right now that's what's stopping me from recording a very long episode. Uh, I've just I've listened to the last couple of episodes as I mentioned before I do watch my own videos I like seeing how they come out and what I can try and improve on them uh, You know sometimes when I'm talking my voice gets kind of uh, I don't know like little airy uh, and, and that bugs me when I don't catch myself doing it and I only hear it in the video because it's like yeah you, you you're listening to somebody who kind of sounds like they're nervous and there's no reason for that so Anywho, uh, I thought I would just show off this particular area real quick and just do a, a quickish sort of episode. Um, let me see. So I only have two, three, four. I have these four guys going. And this is a set of bees, or well, a bee at this per, uh, point in time. I'm trying to get to the Industrious, and this was actually a unweary Industrious hybrid uh, princess that has been bred with a pure Industrious drone, uh, like this one right here. Uh, the only difference is that this one had a, I believe, normal life or normal worker. So I'm trying to get a little bit of uh, better traits while I do get this up to the industrious age. But honestly, I, I'm not entirely sure what I would be doing with it. I really don't have any plans for an alveary, although I think I might do one at the end here and uh, use it for the more, shall we say breeding challenged bees. <laughs> uh, the alveary allows you to uh, alter the the humidity, the light, and even put like a little rain guard and such on top of it. So it's very helpful in breeding some of the more tricksy bees. But for now, uh, I'm just trying to get the industrious, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get a good... Ooh! Yay! I'll show you what does that in a second. <laughs> I'm trying to get a, uh, a good starting for the bees. And what I have here is just marble bees. These are just ones that I picked up in the field and I've been breeding them over and over again to get a supply of honeycomb. So that's uh, what's going to help us here. And now if we flip around to the back you can see why this one did not automatically eject anything and that's why it still has stuff inside of its uh, apiary here. But this one however does. Whenever something goes into the inventory on this side it's going to trigger the logic here of items in inventory. We then send an energy pulsar, and what that does is it acts like a little redstone energy and will suck the item out of the uh, apiary, just like that. It gets it into the pipe. Now this pipe is set up fairly basically. Any uh, purebred industrious bees are automatically going to go back into the apiary. Anything else is going to be going out the red exit, which... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, which is automatically going to go to the right here. So uh, anything blue, never going to choose that way. Black is what we saw for the purebreds. It's not going to go. Oh, it's not going to go back the way that we came in the green. So pretty much everything else is going to shift over to the right, just like that pollen. <laughs> uh, this one here did not have the gate on it. I just I haven't made a fourth one yet, so uh, that's why it still needs to be manually done. This here is uh, Valiance. I don't have any of the uh, frames here because I, I'm not interested in what these things produce, which is the uh, the cocoa uh, 
the cocoa. <laughs> what is it called? Combs. Ah, see, simple words and see. Ah, just hitting the table there. That probably made a loud noise for you guys. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, but so I'm not interested in the cocoa. So I figure or cocoa. So I figured I would just uh, leave those frameless. These ones, on the other hand, I am interested in. Is the cultivated also give us a pretty good, a pretty good yield on the uh, the honeycombs and such. So when these guys are done, which is what we're going to see in just a moment here, I think they might have two ticks left. Maybe one if we're a little bit lucky. Oh, there we go. You can see the numbers sucking out. They're going to come up the back here. And since these are all pure cultivated, they're going to go directly back into the machine, or into the apiary. They're all stackable, so this one actually went up to uh, 41 uh, with the three children. The princess goes into the slot because it's not stupid, and it just starts the whole cycle over again. So these are going to keep on breeding more and more princesses, and when they can't stack here anymore, they're going to go into this chest. And right now, this is just gathering all the stuff that does come out. We get the sugar and the uh, cocoa comb from the valiance. We get the honeycomb from the uh, from the uh, cultivated, as well as the. Uh, unweary, they still have a chance of producing the other kind, but the unweary are also giving us the stringy, and or they're also the industrious, that's what we're trying to get them to from unweary. But uh, So we also get the stringy, which give us the propolis, uh, that's how I made all of the apiary pipes, as, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. as well as the pollen. I do actually have a couple of other bees set up, and that's uh, the watery bees down here, Oh, servers is going to restart in five minutes. All right. Well, we will wrap this one up pretty quickly here. Uh, it was pretty much focusing on showing you guys the bees this evening. But I just wanted to point out that this biome over here is actually normal damp. Uh, this is in the, the Flying Mountains. So that is normal damp. Just a couple of steps this way. We're in the woodlands. And this gives us a normal normal. Oop. And just in time. Hello, bees. Down you go. And it starts the cycle over again. Uh, Valiants come by default. They will produce one new offspring for every loop. So I'm just getting a little stack of them. That's going to take a little while. I figured it's best to let them run. What we're going to be able to do now, though... Sun is going down. I'm going to have to ask Squids if he can hop into a bed real quick. So we'll just get the, uh, I want to keep the bees going, so I just can finish this up real quick. There we go. Yeah, ignore that. <laughs> he was AFK before when I tried to sleep. Alright, so uh, I now have about four minutes until the server is going to reset. And I'll go over more of the uh, changes and everything that have happened. Uh, tomorrow when we have a bit more time. Let me get these and those out of here. Add this in, that in, and those in. I'm actually going to... Oop, damn it, I didn't mean to restart it. And let's grab my wrench. Yep, because I knew that was going to happen. Smack you, smack you. Smack you, smack you. So the beams go from red to a yellowish to a green, which just looks like a darker yellow to me. Or, well, the yellow looks like a dark green already. And then over to blue. So this continues on. Up, up, up. There we go. And we got our Antarctic gate. Alright, come on, mouse. Why are you acting all weird? There we go. So I'll, I'll show you guys that setup uh, in the next episode when I'm kind of going over this stuff a little bit more. As I am a little bit pressed for time and I am a little bit annoyed at the the audio from the mic, so I'm trying to keep the episode more manageable. All right, let's change this. For, so these are the marble guys. So we're going to want the uh, the purebreds again, 
and we just cycle through here until we get to marble. This list actually only shows you bees that you have uh, direct access to that you should know about from the get-go. Uh, marble is one of the hive bees, so we do have that. And then we change this setting to have uh, items in inventory. Not instead of uh, empty, but actually having the items. It's going to enable an energy pulser. So this is actually going to suck, oh, this is going to suck all of the stuff out that was in there zero and it's going to send off in a nice quick stream because the APRS pipes are diamond pipes and they send things pretty fast. Look at that. Nice. So now the marble are going to also contribute to our honeycomb stores here. So uh, this is looking pretty good. I, I like how this is coming along. If you've noticed this little trench down here, ooh, we got a minute. This is where I'm going to be sticking more of the items. Uh, the water and such that you see up front are what allow the lily pads here to be here so the water bees will actually do their thing. Oops, that goes down there. Down there. Uh, I'm going to put uh, mushrooms and cactus and stuff underneath them so it's just kind of working into the garden where I can with the flowers and such but uh, to try and let me pretty much breed anything that I want to here. Uh, they all work within a range, they'll all pretty much spread whatever they can and some of those things I'm actually looking forward to. So I'm gonna wrap it up here and uh, we can expect to see some Thomcraft stuff happening up here where I have my nice little tree. So uh, I am going to talk to you guys probably early in the morning. I'm still going to be apologizing for the microphone, but uh, this is just the way it is. And uh, I am in the process of trying to improve this. Oh, and there we go. So <laughs> have a good, uh, good evening or a good morning whenever you guys get around to watching this episode. And I will talk to you guys next time.